Hello and welcome back to the Banner Saga. Um, we only have five days of supplies left, so I guess we're just moving on here. Uh, it's a very small caravan. Tracks over here, let's get reports. Following them, follow them in ways. Small camp, few plates, meat and meat. Meat and mead, maybe more. I think we have to take what they have. Take what they have if they resist, kill them. A dozen ravens set out. It makes of veterans and new recruits. Rejoin a couple of hours later with supplies. You hear one of the fighters muttering. It takes the fun out of things when they give up their goods so easily. Yeah, but honestly, no need for harming my guys when there's dredge about. A group of new recruits from Borsgard in the previous caravan are loosely gathered behind Morgun, a skilled thrasher with a scout. Morgun left with them? Felt like a good time to introduce myself, Boken. Thought you weren't with the Let's Clan. Bah, she's even worse than her father about trying to save everyone. She didn't appreciate this chaotic gifts of no guards, no rules, and plenty of chances for fighting. A few rules to being a Raven, most important is following my orders. Of course, yeah, but what about this giant cart that Valka has us looking around? Something in his tone signals a primal warning inside you. That has nothing to do with you. Well, the way we see it, he motions to the fighters around him. She's no longer around. Let's break it open and look at our riches. We're mercenaries, you idiots. We're paid to run jobs, not steal from who hired us. Is any of this making f sense to you? He ignores her. He's only interested in what you have to say. Back away or I'll kill you in front of your friends. Nervous glances pass between Morgan's post and Posse. A couple of fighters step away, followed by a few more. Pathetic. But not a bad test to see what your new recruits are made of, right? Challenge letting you live would set a bad example. You stalk toward Morgan. He fights the fear of confronting his face. Everyone watches in silence as your axes go about their crispy work. Yeah, fuck him. Sorry, Morgan, but uh, fuck you. <laughs> Too busy with your uh, with your perverted ways. Commotion draws your attention into the nearby woods. You're surprised to see a small group of dredge, some of which you've never seen before, engaging in one of the new recruits from Boar's Guard. How these fan slacks get here, you ask? No, no one has an answer. A tattoo fighter is noticeably drunk. He loves two axes and black axes in quick succession and approaching scourge. The axes find their marks on stone armor. Up and fight. Draw your axes and rush in, surprising all the combatants. Yeah, we don't know. We don't need lose cannons. Groomer went with us. Sigbjorn went with us. Bassi went with us. Ekel went with us. I am surprised. All these people. Okay. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but I, it still annoys me that this is how I find out. Oh, his health goes away, no matter what you do. 
Hackstone. Nah. Careful, one of those slingers is getting ready to hover with her little rock. Okay. Alright. Well, he was a member of... He, this guy is a member of the Ravens, but... Krumer? And Bassy? That surprises me. <laughs> Do I have anybody with a fucking bow? Guess not. I don't even know who this guy is. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Well. Definitely worth it though. And it is interesting to play a a less uh shall we say a a less uh conscious person. <laughs> A less morally guided person. <laughs> Get rid of this fucker. Oh, use this, uh... Strength falls. Honestly. Let's see. Actually, no. Move over here and then attack this guy. No more armor. Ow. Oh shit. Let's go rid of this guy. Oh, and they got another guy down there. Salt him? No, we can't. Okay. Well. Maybe we can, like use Axe Storm. I have no idea what this. So. Damn, boy. That is not bad. That is not bad at all. I like that. I like you. I like you. You have good abilities. Oh, another singing. <laughs> nice. Temper about blood, pain, full case, very good motion. Seek beyond. Yeah, Bullveg is the only one that fell.
Recovering his access to mercenary gives you a lazy grin. That was... well, I appreciate the help. Need a drink? Well, extends a small flask that smells of potent spices and wood smoke. You wave it off. Did you see where those dredge came from? Not really. Good thing I was already pissing or I'd have made a mess when I looked up and saw them. Lovely. That chasm didn't stop them. Oh, they're coming through the mountains. Then I'll have a few more chances to throw. If humans want to make your short lives even shorter, go ahead. You walk off, but give Fulk a quick look, letting her know you're impressed by all this all this throwing. And me too! That is that was really impressive ability there, that he could just like maniac throw so all our heroes injured and need to rest in camp. Uh okay. But I don't like stopping for that though. Here we go. Off we go. The ravens in the air as ravens approach. All he says with a slur. Is that a good sign? The small village ahead looks well fortified with few bodies outside the fences being picked clean by the birds. Your caravan moves closer but stays out of arrow range. Whoever's in there wants to be left alone, Polka says. But it could be your best chance for supplies around here. Split and attack. With practice ease, the Ravens split and rush the village from the free angles. Eris missed their remarks at the unexpected charge and soon you're upon the battle hardened villages. I am just kind of menacing the countryside at the moment. Uh, this guy's spar. I think I'm gonna throw Echel in his dead just because I know how Echel works. Spar doesn't really. Can I get some info on him? Spa has seen more of the world than most and has more opinions than others. Yeah, he has like a Genghis, like a, a, a Mongolian outfit on. He's been with the very much longer than any other human, which is a testament to both his physical and emotional resolve. Okay. Uh, I guess I should promote Volker. If I can. I can, good. Uh, let's uh, give her the final strength points. Yeah. That's fine with me. Alright, ready for battle. Holy shit, I'm behind the barricade. Hell yeah. I, 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 I'm not sure how keen I am on the fact that they look like... Um, they look like uh, that one girl, what's her name? I keep forgetting her name, the one we taught. Clear these fan barricades, all of them. But they look like her, yeah. Which I guess is supposed to, like, that's a, probably on purpose, because she's supposed to be, like, unassuming. Damn, she has reach. She has a lot of reach. I actually, I'm actually kind of impressed with how much reach he has. Okay. Yeah, sure. Let's just do this. Tempest. Down you go, girls. I'm glad that she's uh, she's so skillful. He's so she's so armored that she can't really do anything about that. I'm kind of glad. 
<laughs> Alright, Echel. Echel left. Echel seemed kind of like loyal, but I don't know, maybe only loyal to Rook. That seems to be the case with most of these guys that left. Ah, dude! you can do here. <laughs> I wonder what language that is. If it's a made up language or it's like Serbian or something. Oli got injured in battle. Oh well. I shouldn't be using Oli as a as a melee character, mostly. You kick down the last of the barricades to find the dozens of remaining villages huddled together. Some have bows but no arrows. The others have thrown their blades to the ground. Man step forward. I'm Fiedrich, the oldest of us, he says. we are fight fighting off all types from Olmstadler for two weeks now. Not just trying to protect what's ours. He looks back at his pupil and says, You won't find us beckoned for our lives. Folk have pushed you aside and say, They know how to fight, so we'd be stronger if they joined us. You pull out your beard. Or oh, I can make them gather food for us, as you say. You come with us without your blades and bows. And what? Be your fine slaves? Fitter turns to his people. Is that how we'll be remembered? They all shout, Never! And tip to grab the blades, but you and the ravens cut them all down with practice ease. I should have known that wasn't really an option, Fulker says, and walks off to look around. Yeah. Spar, an old wanderer who joined the Ravens over half a century ago, points at the tents on the edge of the village. Looks like the merchants are still here, maybe they were being forced to stick around. Okay. That's... that's useful. Alright. Off we go. <laughs> Just get supplies and leave. We've got a long journey ahead of us, I can tell so much. That's probably it. Godstone up there. The scout points into the distance while the smile points into the distance with a smile on his face. Walk in that direction begin to hear the strangers bickering between two Val. Now you've done it, Jut, says one Val with a large shield and spear. Kept on on till others heard and came nosing about. The other Val flanches you away, laughs politely and walks towards you while shouldering his axe. Don't mind my brother Nook. He's a warrior. Warrior. He's a warrior. Okay. Nook steps close and sure. It's the other Val with his shield. Jute, Val don't have brothers, and it's warrior. Booker looks at you with amusement and confusion. None of the other ravens seem to know how to react either. Are you too adult? Not in the nicest way to say hello. Nook says, extending his hand in greeting. And if we were adult, should add, stepping forward and swatting Nook's hand, would we even know it? 
Nox says, Well, you wouldn't, Judd, but I'd know. The spectacle continues, most Ravens are now laughing at the observatory. I'm not sure what you're after, but we're not sharing food. Look, Judd shakes his head. We're at, not after food, are we, Doc? No, no, well, yes and no. Yes and no, that's right, we'd fight for you. With you? For you, he means. Look, we'd fight for food, but we'd fight with this law. You John, if you shut up. Feck Nook says, but just slaps a hand over his brother's mouth. <laughs> Several mercenaries not trying to hold back laughing. The zoo while smile like fools fall in line. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't mind seeing irons fly. If only once more. Irons fly. What's that? Remember last time we saw this foul, foul, eh, blood axe? Shut up. Okay. I think the ghost of this dead bird has forgiven you for that wing yet, Spar has. The other ravens, including Falker, look from the broken stone to you in shock. Hey, the old man says, we were here nearly 40 years ago. Same spot as now, only a dozen of us left to the unkindness then. Better men by twice than all of you. It's rumbling, but the ravens keep listening. We'd run a job for a man, Pfeffer, Finner, Fainer more like, he says, spinning in the memory. He set us up to take the fall for some of the other deals gone bad. We got surrounded here and this bear of a vile loses his mind, grabs a tree, a whole tree, and starts swinging. Spa starts coughing but recovers. Nearly killed us all, but all Irings took a hit like no other, and there you have it. So the Romans start asking you questions, but as far as all too happened, answer. Study the bird ship stone. Erinix, the god known as the winter bird. Irinx. Stands proudly on an eternal pitch of snow and ice. Stories of season pass of hunting Radomir across the summer skies, of creating blizzards while swapping its wings to land in winter, cover the outstretched wings. While walking around the stone, your, f your foot thumps on something hollow. Clear away some ice and find a wooden box, probably left as some token of faith to a do dead god. Leaving an infant behind for the dead is a waste, you say, immediately prying over the box and plugging the small item within. <laughs> Irinx were known, plus five. Well, okay. <laughs> Alright. Well, thank you guys for watching this episode of Iron Place. This is definitely turning out to be a more dark side run than Banner Saga 1 was. Uh, we're definitely like getting more hot and shit is definitely hitting the fan in a big way, or it has. And uh, the Ravens are not nice people. <laughs> so I'll see you guys next episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. Until then, bye.